Hi guys, this is I'm Stuck, and today we're looking at decay and decomposition. So first of all, we're going to go through how the decay process actually works. So detritus feeders, such as maggots, for example, often start the process when they eat dead animals and they produce waste material. Now, the bacteria and the fungi then digest everything. Now, the bacteria and fungi are decomposers, which are groups of uh, microorganisms which feed on waste or dead organisms. So they digest everything and then they use the nutrients to grow and reproduce. Now in this process they also release waste products of carbon dioxide, water and nutrients. Now when things decay they are actually being broken down and digested by the microorganisms. And the recycling of the materials makes sure that the soil has enough mineral ions for plants to grow. Now the decomposers also remove the dead bodies. So there are many conditions which are needed for decay and this is um, uh, plenty of oxygen, um, heat and I'll go through now of why these actually matter. So the chemical reactions work better in warmer conditions because the enzymes work to the best. However, when, it is too, so when it's too cold, the chemical reactions may slow down and this will mean that the, uh, decompose, uh, this decay process will not work. However, when it is too hot as well, the enzymes may change shape and stop working. Now, if you need help with enzymes, watch my enzyme video. Now, most microorganisms grow better in um, moist conditions as well. And this is because the microorganisms can easily di dissolve their food and the decay of ant dead animals takes place much quicker. Now, most decomposers also need oxygen to release energy, to grow and to reproduce. So therefore, when there is a lot of uh, plenty of oxygen, de uh, decay often takes place a lot quicker. So finally, I'll talk about the importance of decay. So we can take advantage of this decay process to help us recycle our waste. So in sewage treatment plants, for example, we often use microorganisms to break down our bodily waste. Now, this means that it's safer to release back into the rivers and to the seas. Now, this means that the sewage works must have uh, the conditions of a lot of oxygen and warmth to make them effective. Now, many gardeners or at home, many people have a compost heat. Now, this is where many waste things can be put in, such as grass cuttings, weeds and vegetable peelings. Now, the de uh, decomposing microorganisms then break down this plant material into a compost, which can then be used as a fertilizer, which is obviously very important. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please subscribe to my channel and see you soon. Goodbye.